In my previous video, the ESP32 was programmed as a WebSocket server to broadcast to clients temperature and humidity measurements from a DHT11 sensor. In this video, the system is modified both on the server side and the client side. On the server side, a switch is now added that sends feedback message to the client. And on the client side, there are now two buttons that control the on-off of two LEDs. A diagram of the modified system is shown here. On the server side, in addition to the DHT11 sensor, we now have a switch connected to a digital input of the controller. We also have uh, a blue LED connected to a digital output of the controller. On the client side, we now have two CSS style buttons one to toggle the red LED and the other to toggle the blue LED. We also have this message board which displays feedback from the server. When the push button is pressed, a warning message is sent to the client requesting an action. And now for a quick demonstration. Note how the color of the message board changes when the button at the server is pressed. Also note the CSS style buttons on the web page. The modified sketch of this project is shown here. Again, a link will be provided to access the code. If we look at the web page header file, you can see that there's a lot of CSS and HTML and JavaScript involved. And if we come to the web page, we can see that we have the CSS style buttons and when we hover on the buttons, we get some animation. To conclude, in order to implement a microcontroller based web server or web socket server, the web page has to be designed using CSS, HTML and JavaScript programming. I personally had to learn all three languages so that I can design such web pages. Thank you for watching.